Hello, everyone in YouTube land. We love our son back here, finally. Um, back at doing a normal video, like I always do. Uh, but this time, it's a review of Super Smash Bros. on 3DS. Uh, got the game just a couple days ago. Um, I was going to wait to do it, actually. But I just thought, thought why the hell not? I'm going to do it. Because I wanted to play more of a Smash Run mode. But, no, fuck it, I played a little bit of it, and I'll get to that later. Um, yeah, this has, this game has so much content, and just a lot to talk about, so bear with me. <laughs> There's a lot to talk about, and I will get to the main... When, when you do a review of a game, you talk about the graphics, the sound, the overall presentation, blah, blah, right? Just I'll get to that later. Right now, when it comes to Smash Brothers, the modes... My favorite characters, my least favorite characters, my favorite stages. You know, just, and mainly the modes too. I mean, there's so much stuff in this game. Obviously, the Smash Run is the exclusive mode to the 3DS version. Um, you have your usual modes, like the Home Run Contest, and then that Bomb one. I forgot what it was called now, fuck. Uh, and then you have your usual uh, Classic Mode, All-Star Mode. Then you have the Challenges, which I haven't even gotten to yet, actually, but... I've, it's nuts. There's a lot of them, and I know people I've seen online that have beaten them. And that's really crazy, you know. God, I don't think they beat them all, but they be, pretty much close beat them all. But there's so many challenges. Um, but yeah, it's tons of modes. So, uh, but right now I'm gonna get to uh, my favorite characters. I think I'll talk about that first. But like I said, though, I'll just talk about the sound, graphics, overall presentation later. Uh, hopefully this video won't go on too long. So, um, very interesting roster when you look at it. You know, we really have the game in our hands right now. We really do. Wii U version comes out next month. It was announced yesterday. The date for the Wii U one comes out November 21st. Not a big surprise. We kind of knew something. We kind of knew that was going on. Uh, so, yeah, we pretty much have the game in our hands. We know how it's going to play, kind of. Wii U version might play a little different because it's on Wii U, you know, different controllers, obviously, but, uh, yeah, very interesting roster, and uh, some of my favorite characters, I, 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 may, I think my main um, in this game is going to be uh, probably Pac-Man. I, I, really, I really dig Pac-Man. He is a really nice character. He's really well balanced, really fun to use. I like his all his moves. Just they really represent that character and his history, you know, it's just really really cool. Um he's just fun to use. You figure maybe what the heck this is going to be lame. No, it's not. He's really really nice. Um his final smash is really cool. But yeah, it's just just really kind of a there's a, quite a few uh comedic characters in Smash Brothers and he's kind of one of them. Just the way he moves and his facial expressions, and in his Final Smash, like I said, it's just really, really funny. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I, I like Mega Man. Obviously, he was in the demo, so we, we all played as him over and over again. But I really do like him. Um, he's a he's kind of flawed. He's very limited in some of his attacks. His shooting, you know, it, it's very puny, you know. Some of his attacks, some of the attacks are very puny. They're, just, they're not that powerful, but I really do like using him, you know, uh, he's, again, another well-balanced character, kind of like, you know, Mario or Link, I guess, they're just in the middle, you know, I, I usually lean more t to the in-the-middle type characters, you know, um, I don't like a lot of zany type characters, I like some zany, weird characters, you know, but, yeah, mainly Pac-Man and Mega Man are my, gonna be my mains, uh, Lucario was my main in Brawl, uh, out of the veterans, it was Samus. Like, she's my main since the beginning. Like, I love Samus. I love the way she plays. I'm really familiar with her. Just love her attacks. And I I'm glad that they changed her when she does her final smash, the beam. She doesn't turn into Zero Suit Samus. Her suit doesn't fall off or whatever, which is great. So you can do the beam attack as much as you want and not have it fall off. And Zero Suit Samus is really nice to play as. Um, they improved her a lot. Um, the boots, obviously, you know, they, they, it's, she's, she, God, it makes Zero Suit Samus and Brawl play very, very 
mediocre. Like, I cannot believe it. But, um, yeah, Samus, no, has not changed. Not Zero Suit Samus, but Samus has not changed that much. I don't know what they really did to her. I, I don't think you can change her that much. It's the same. Let's see. Now, characters that I don't like at all. This is, these are, I cannot stress this enough, guys. I, can't, I don't like these characters at all. And that is, and I thought I was going to like these characters. I really thought. I was like, wow, I'm glad he's in there. It's great. Charizard. I don't like Charizard at all. I think he's way too fucking heavy. Obviously, he's supposed to be he's a giant dragon or whatever. You know, he, he's Charizard. Way too fucking heavy. I can't even, it's almost broken for me. Like, I can't fly. His recovery is terrible. Just all that stuff. It's just, ugh, God. I try, especially you know, certain stages. He's all right, obviously, but... You know, when you get knocked constantly, you're just like, fuck, I just, I give up, you know? I, I can't do it. He's too heavy. Another one, which is pretty much a polar opposite of Charizard, and that is Little Mac. Uh, I think, I believe, he is overpowered, and he is too fast. I can't control him at all. I know some people like him. They like to use him online a lot, but I don't like him. Um, yeah, I, I honestly think he's overpowered. He's just too fast when he fights, and he just runs constantly back and forth. He just falls off the fucking stage. And... Yeah, he's just, I honestly think he's terrible in my opinion, but that's just me. Uh, yeah, Charizard and Little Mac are probably my least favorite characters in the game, along with another character I thought I was going to like, which is a very zany, different character, and that is Duck Hunt Dog. I don't like Duck Hunt Dog at all. Um, I think his attacks are kind of annoying, especially when you play with someone who uses them, like hands, whatever. But for me, when I play, I just, he's too different. He's too hard to get used to for me. Um, maybe I need to play as him a little bit more, but we'll see. I like, I do like Bowser Jr., though, and he's a different character, but I, I love Bowser Jr., actually. You know, the more, that, the more I play as Bowser Jr., he's really, really cool. And I, I call him, uh, the first time I saw him, or the first time I played, him, played as him, I, I called him the Swiss Army Knife of Smash Bros. characters, you know. He's just, he's got all this crazy stuff, you know. Um, yeah, it, it's really... A great roster. It really is, though. When you really look at it, and when you have on all characters unlocked, I hope you do. Uh, I'm sure you do. It's really easy to, to unlock all the characters, and that's what I think what people were complaining about. It's really easy to unlock all the characters. You just lock, unlock them one by one. You know, same with the stages. You know, uh, it's not that hard. They give you certain things to do to unlock them, but but the characters, yeah, they're really easy to unlock. But once you have them all locked, they're really. It, it's a great roster. It's big. Can't wait till the Wii U one comes up just to see that all on screen, you know. Uh, who knows how we're going to be able to unlock them on the Wii U one. But, yeah, it's just, you really, it, it is a great roster. I think it's probably one of the best, actually. One of the best. Um, Brawl had a good roster. Melee did, you know. But, um, yeah, there's nothing more I can say about the characters. Oh, wait, one more. Um, I do like Rosalina. I think she's really cool. Really interesting. Glad she's in there. Um... She's a little harder to get used to, kind of, but not as much. I think, oh yeah, another character too, jeez. Uh, yeah, Rosalina is really nice, though. She's, I forget, I, I forget some of the name of the attacks. <laughs> I really do. Uh, the game obviously just came out, so, but I don't remember all these name of the attacks. But, um, yeah, Rosalina and Luma, they're kind of like uh, the Ice Climbers in a way. You know, you have two characters to control a little bit. It's really weird, but she's nice. Wee Frit Trainer. Is another character where I'm, I really like. Actually, I think she's badass. Um, she take she does she does take. I have to agree with some people that she does take a lot of damage, and she a lot of people are compla comparing her to uh, Samus. You know, if she does her charge thing or whatever. I don't know what it's called, but and then she has different. You know, her her taunts are the funniest. She's she's another very comedic character. Um, obviously, there's a guy version of Weaver Trainer too, but. Uh, yeah, just very cool, and you don't see people playing her, playing as her online online that much. Um, I know a lot of people are complaining about Shulk. <laughs> he should not be in there. He's lame. He's just another sword character. Slashes, slashes, up slash, down slash. This, you know, it's just, oh, it's just stupid. But anyways, yeah, the characters are. It is a great roster. It really is. Obviously, you can't please everyone, and. You know, people are going to wonder why this character is not in the game, or you should replace this character. You know, it's just, you cannot do that. You know, it's just, 
you can't please everyone. You know. um, may, maybe DLC. I don't know. I don't know what else they could add in this version. You know, I mean, Sakurai obviously wants to have both versions to be the same pretty much when it comes to the roster. Uh, so I don't know. But, but what, what could happen, you know? <laughs> Anyways, though, let's move on to the stages, I guess. I'll talk about Smash Run later. There's many, I mean, not going to talk about the usual modes and the classic mode and all that stuff. It's whatever. We all know what that's about. Yeah, my favorite, I, I, the stages, I'll just get to this real quick here. The stages are very nice. There should be more, though. I know some, some people are, you know, wanting more stages, maybe DLC. But again, I don't know how much content they could add in this game. Seriously, like, it's already uh, filled to the brim with content, you know. Uh, and, there, and there's always, obviously a lot of stuff going on on screen. Especially when you're playing with four players, especially online or whatever, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. There, there is a good amount, good enough, good amount of stages on, on this version, and it really, uh, I love, <laughs> I love that uh, Game Boy stage. That stage is really cool. Or the, obviously it's the Dreamland stage from Kirby's Dreamland, but I call it the Game Boy stage because it looks like Game Boy. It's the green background and all that. Um, it, it's just an awesome stage. I love that. Just great nods to the handheld history or whatever. I also love uh, the. I think it's one of the Fire Emblem stages, the Reset Bomb Forest or whatever it is. God, I still have not played Fire Emblem Awakening yet, but that stage is really cool. The backgrounds are fucking incredible. Holy crap. I, I honestly cannot believe they're doing that on a handheld. I, I think a lot of things in this game, I cannot believe they're doing on a handheld. Certain people, certain characters, Final Smashes, I cannot believe they're doing on a handheld, but that stage, that Reset Bomb Forest, I cannot believe it. It just looks incredible. Um, I'm playing on a original 3ds not a xl bigger screen but it just it looks amazing it really does and god other stages that game boy stage the reset bomb force i like the one of the pokemon stages prism tower i think it's called yeah um yeah just just incredible i, I always like the moving stages you know the state the stage the platforms move, move around uh just so fucking cool you know i can go on and on all day but you know, maybe they'll add more stages, we don't, I don't know. Maybe they'll add exclusive stages to the Wii U one and to this one. Same with the characters, too. Maybe, maybe they might, some people are talking about, maybe they might add one version will get this character, one version will get that character, one version will get this stage, and another version will get that stage. But I don't know how much content they can add. I mean, we, you have a handheld version. He wants ver both versions to be the same. But for stages, maybe they could add more stages. I don't know. I think there's enough stages in this game, honestly, there really is, and yeah, there, there's a lot of great stages in this game, and uh, let's see, now the Smash Run mode, I'm not going to talk too much about the Smash Run mode, I only played about an hour of it or whatever, about maybe 45 minutes to an hour, I, I honestly, I don't like it, when I first saw it, I knew I was going to like it, I was like, this is just, what is the point of this, it, feel, if, I, it feels kind of thrown together in a way, um, I guess they had to think of a mode to put in this game, you know. Um, you know, Sakurai and the rest probably had to think of some sort of mode to put in the handheld vert in this version, you know. And it's not terrible. If you like it, that's fine. But I don't like it. I think it's just kind of... It's good to see all those little enemies on, on there. And, you know, you see some Pokemon on there. You see some Shy Guys. You see some enemies from Zelda. I mean, you see all sorts of stuff. It's just crazy. But I just feel that I, don't, I, I really don't get it. Maybe I just don't understand it. I need to play more of it. I don't like it, though. Again, it's just a mode. Who cares? If you like it, that's totally cool. Have fun with it. But I, I don't like it that much. Um, yeah, it is what it is, you know. Uh, I really do like the other modes in the game. Like, obviously, Home Run Contest. I love that mode. But the one mode I love that I was having fun with actually last night was the Trophy Rush mode, I believe it's called. God, that is really addictive. I love that. An easy way to get trophies. Um, <laughs> I really lo I really love that mode. I think that mode is better than the Smash Run mode. I know they're really advertising the Smash Run mode a lot, but I love the Trophy Rush thing, and, um, you know, whatever. You know, there's other modes, but obviously there's... Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to talk about the customizing your me character, actually. 
Um, I really haven't done that that much. I really haven't. I really haven't played my me as my me that much. I really should play that. But anyways, who cares about that right now? Um, let's see. Overall, uh, let's get to the sound. Might not sound. Whatever graphics. I guess I'll talk about graphics. It looks great. It looks amazing. The 3D looks incredible. Um, I, I honestly think this game is meant to be played in 3D. There's some stages where it's like you're seeing little particle effects. You know, it's look like they're right popping out of the screen. It, look, it looks amazing, and the depth looks incredible. I don't know. Um, yeah, the gra it, it just looks amazing. It looks great. Um, I don't know what more I can say about the graphics. The sound, the sound is, is great. It really is. The music. Um, you know, some people are saying, you know, the sound is kind of limited a little bit, but you only can do so much on a handheld again, you know, lim limitations. I think the music sounds great. It's all great. I don't know. What am I going to say about the sound? Sound and graphics, I don't know. It, it sounds fantastic. And the overall, yeah, overall presentation is just, you know, amazing. They really pulled it off, especially the first time on a handheld, you know. It's kind of like playing your first uh, Mario Kart on a handheld. You know, I don't call it the GBA version of Mario Kart, the DS one. GB one was the first Mario Kart handheld, but the DS one was, because it was, you know. Um, it really kind of pushed the, not really pushed the system, but it was, it was that first time you played a Mario Kart on a handheld. It was true Mario Kart, in my opinion, anyways. That's what I compare this to, you know. It's really, like, I think Smash Bros. I think Smash Bros. on a handheld will be the first in that, you know. Mario Kart, having Mario Kart on a handheld, It'll be in that same, you know, like Pokemon, Mario Kart, Animal Crossing, all that stuff, you know. Um, yeah, hopefully they make more. Hopefully we'll get another handheld version with their next generation handheld. Who knows? We'll see. But, yeah, uh, there's a few things I need to talk about, about the, there's a few complaints, actually. And that is the uh, online. I know some people are complaining about online. The leg that is a little annoying obviously it's going to happen with brawl i leg like crazy online with brawl but the biggest plate the, comp the biggest complaint with this game is the local online for some reason local online is lagging like crazy and i don't know why that is um i remember i was playing with a few friends with this and it just it lagged like crazy i don't know why why should it lay with local? We're close right here with each other, so it's like that's stupid. You know, with fighting with random people or people on your friend li friends list, that's fine. That's gonna happen, you know. Um, especially with a game like this. Uh, but for some reason, local online is is lagging, and it's still lagging, and they and they need to fix it. Um, I was fighting with a friend last night, and it really wasn't lagging that much. But yeah, it should stop though. It should not be lagging with local. Multiplayer. That's stupid. But that is the biggest complaint I can have with this game. Um, I should I should really talk about the gameplay actually, the way it plays with the slide plat, slide cir circle pad or whatever. It's actually not that bad. Um, I know I've been hearing some complaints, not not complaints, but stupid people actually breaking their slide pad or circle pad while they're playing. I don't know how that's possible. Nintendo systems are very durable, so I don't know how you're breaking your circuit pad. So don't do that. Um, but overall, it does play really good, and I heard that this will be used as a controller for the Wii U version. I don't know why you would want to do that. There's other options there for you. Wii U Pro Controller, Wiimote Nunchuck, GameCube Controller, obviously, with the adapter, GamePad. I mean, there's so many options. Why, would, why on earth would you want to use this as a controller with the Wii U one? But overall, though, it plays great. I mean, it's, it's yeah, my slide pad is fine. <laughs> I take care of my stuff. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this, you know, um, review. This is my review of Super Smash Brothers. Hope it's not that long, you know. Um, don't want to rush through it. Take my time. But it is a great version of Smash Brothers. I hope people are having fun with it. And it's a great game. It really is. Um, obviously, there can be could be some improvements here and there, but overall, it's awesome. I don't know what I would give it out of 10 or out of 5. I don't know. I don't have, I don't do that, but out of 10, I would probably give it a 9. Flat 9. Just 9. Not 
one to not eight point nine. I mean nine. Nine is good, and that's pretty much. If I if out of five, I'd probably like four to five. So, but yeah, a nine. So that's it out of that. So, anyways, that's my review of Super Smash Bros. 3DS. Hope you liked it. I don't know. I'm not good at reviews. Take it easy. More videos coming soon. I'm gonna be putting videos up on daily. You know, try anyways. More topic videos. I'm gonna be doing a Halloween themed video and all that stuff. So, take it easy. Peace out. Later. Bye.